السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It's good to have you back with us on Somaliland National Television. I'm Mohamed Adam here with English stories making headlines. These are the stories to come. Somaliland's political parties agree on holding elections. The committee responsible for beleaguered railroad construction hopes a fundraising event. Israel pulls out troops from Gaza after four weeks of fighting. Airport screening is increased in Nigeria to reduce the spread of Ebola. Somaliland's political parties and the National Electoral Commission have jointly held a meeting to discuss developments made by a recent test regarding the voter registration process. Chairman of Wadani Opposition Political Party, Abdurrahman Abdullahi Irro, held a press conference and spoke regarding the achievements made toward implementing a test of voter registration process to ensure that citizens with eligibility of voting are registered to be able to cast their ballots in the year 2015. Chairman of the political party also reiterated the necessity of immediately implementing the voter registration process to ensure that elections are held on time. He also urged the National Electoral Commission to continue portraying hard work and commitment to ensuring that elections are held successfully. Also present at the press conference was Jamah Shabal, a member of the ruling political party, Kulmir. He spoke to reporters and he stated that political parties are convinced with the process that voter registration is under. He praised efforts of the National Electoral Committee. Somaliland's Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources displayed a data study compiling information regarding the Somaliland's utilization and consumption of marine resources. Vice Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources speaking the relevance of the utilization of marine resources. He stated that Somaliland citizens have recently increased consumption of marine resources as the ministry continues putting further emphasis on increasing utilization of marine resources. The Vice Minister also reiterated that marine resources are of great income for the Somaliland citizens if it's utilized by the citizens. In regards to employment, several keynote speakers at the event stressed further that so many people can be employed and can be genuine beneficiaries of our maritime resources, which now need a lot of investment. The production of fish has recently scaled up due to significant steps taken by the Somaliland government. Other renowned figures at the event included Minister of Sports, Youth and Tourism, commended steps taken by the Ministry of Fisheries in ensuring further progress for Somaliland on several forefronts, particularly the utilization of marine resources. The committee responsible for bridging the road linking Hargeisa and Billy Gwedle held an event to discuss achievements made over raising funds for the initiation of road construction. The event had in attendance several governmental and non-governmental figures. The event was focused on achievements made by the committee since it was designated for taking the responsibility of rehabilitating the road linking Hargeisa and Bali Gubedle. Keynote speakers at the event included cultural leaders and government officials discussed ongoing cooperation between residents, diaspora communities from the region and the government in renovating the road. They highlighted the significance of renovated roads for the transport and commercial transactions indicating it at as a key component of economical development for any developing nation. Members of the committee speaking at the event elaborated on the amount of money brought to their account, contributed to the road construction. Parliamentarian Nana, a member of the committee responsible for the road construction, expressed hope that renovation efforts will soon be executed. He urged the Somaliland diaspora to increase assisting such developmental projects being undertaken to improve the country's economical sources. He's still tuned into the English news on Somaliland National Television, the only Somali-speaking channel with an English news. And now for the main international headlines. In the There's increasing fear over the spread of Ebola, a viral disease that has claimed lives of so many people in several countries in West Africa. Now, the fear is related to the possibility that the disease can travel to other areas, presumably in Africa, Europe and North America. 
In Nigeria, the World Health Organization have recorded 61 new cases of Ebola within two days. On the other hand, the Nigerian government is dealing with the disease through further measures. Airport screening is increased in all airports to ensure that the infected person with the disease hasn't arrived in the country. Similar steps are being put in place by several international airports around the world. In the United States, measures are being put in place to ensure that infected people that may travel with the disease to the country are intercepted. In an airport in, an airport in New York, a man presumed to have been travelling with the disease has been tested. Several airports around the world are on high alert, while in the meantime several international flights were cancelled. Last week, the Emirates announced that its passenger jet won't be travelling to West Africa. Several other passenger flights were also cancelled for fear of possible spread of the deadly viral disease. Israel has pulled out troops from the Gaza Strip after four weeks of ferocious gun battle with Hamas, along with air raids that have flattened almost 3,000 homes in the city. This was due to Egypt-mediated talks that resulted in cessation of hostilities continued in the Gaza Strip. Both sides agreed on a three-day pause of conflict, and within three days, both sides are expected to sign into a longer-term peace agreement. It came following meetings held in Cairo with the presence of delegates from the Palestinians, the US, Turkey and Qatar, joined by Egypt, which hosted the meeting. Almost 2,000 Palestinians were killed since the start of the war. 67 Israelis were also killed in the war. Thousands of homes were demolished by constant airstrikes targeted in civilian areas. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Join us at the same time tomorrow. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.